Hello YouTube, we are back with a new video on the Options Greeks. Um, if you like this kind of content, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button if you want to be notified every time I put a new video up. So this video is the fifth video in a series on the Greeks for Options investors. In this video, we'll be learning about Rho. Rho measures the sensitivity of options prices to changes in interest rates. It's the first derivative of the option value with respect to the risk-free interest rate. Interest rates are a key input into options pricing formula, and hopefully if you've followed uh, the series I just did on pricing options, you'll have seen that pretty much every formula that I use, I have an interest rate in there somewhere, and that's, that's finance in general, everything, every cash flow gets present valued, right? And so if you change that interest rate in the formula, you're going to get a slightly different value for the option. So rho is usually expressed as how much option prices change if the risk-free interest rate rises or falls by 1% per annum. An increase in the risk-free rate increases the value of call options and decreases the value of put options. Rho is positive for long calls and negative for long put options. Rho changes as time goes by, moving towards zero as expiration approaches. And that should make sense just because that uh, present valuing effect in our options is going to become less and less as we get closer to time. Rho tends to be low for a call option that's deep out of the money and high for deep in the money call options. It tends to be high for put options that are deep out of the money and low for a deep in the money put option. Except under extreme circumstances, the value of an option is less sensitive to changes in the risk-free interest rate than to changes in most of the other parameters that we're looking at. And so for this reason, Rho is the least used of the first order Greeks. I, I often joke um, when I teach this in the class, I, I have students from all over the world and they, I'm pretty sure that I'll always have a Greek student in the class. Um, and I often joke with them that, that uh, Rho is the most boring of the Greeks. And the, the, you know, this year, one of the students put their hand up and said, no, no, I have a friend and he is more boring than Rho. So, uh, so it's the second most boring of the Greeks, I think we, we can say now. So often people get a little bit confused with, well, they often find many of the Greeks confusing, but people get confused a little bit with Rho because they often think, well, if if the risk-free rate is reduced, we'll say if the Federal Reserve cuts rates, that might drive up the price of, of asset values, uh, you know, which could be the underlying of the option. So it might have a big effect on the value of, of options. Now, that's actually not what we're talking about. We're not talking about the effect of the rate change on the market, which then affects the value of the option. We're simply saying if all other things are held equal, so if the rate change occurred and the asset is unaffected, the asset price goes sideways, nothing happens. We're just saying um, how much does changing the input that we use in our pricing formulas for risk-free rate, how much does changing that by 1% affect the price of the option? The answer usually is not that much. Most option traders, you know, they really monitor their Greeks a lot, but Rho is sort of, it'll be maybe off the edge of their spreadsheet a little bit. It's not, it's not the, the thing their eye is glued to all day long. Anyhow, so that is, that's Rho. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And do comment below. Just let me know, uh, you know, if you'd like me to cover more things in these videos. Um, all of the videos are based on my book, uh, which is called Trading and Pricing Financial Derivatives. And there's a link to that in the description below. There's tons of other videos on derivatives, so make sure that you check those out too. See you later. Bye.